All right, so here's another question for you. You ready? What information is provided in the DNS zone data? Is it A, DNS domain name? Is it B, the computer name? Is it C, IP addresses and network information? Or is it D, vulnerabilities in the domain? Think about that. What do you think, Robin? Well, actually, it's A, B, and C. That is absolutely correct. Yeah, DNS lookups, for example, provide information such as DNS domain name, computer name, and the IP addresses and network information. You can use tools such as DNS stuff and databases such as Whois to gather the information. It does not give details of the vulnerabilities, though. We briefly mentioned competitive intelligence earlier. Yeah, that's right. We are going to go into a little more detail. Yeah, okay, so you have various tools available in the market to carry out competitive intelligence gathering. Some examples of competitive intelligence could be the product roadmap or strategies, technologies that people are using, etc. Mm -hmm. Now, in competitive intelligence, you will look at the customers, the suppliers, partners, and information about each of these and any information that might be useful for you to hack. You try to identify what information to gather, then you will gather that information. Now, next, you will analyze the gathered information and verify its accuracy and more, maybe more importantly, its usefulness. Right. Now, we're going to talk about the sources of competitive intelligence. You can refer to the company website, job advertisements, search engines, internet, and online databases. You can also look at press releases and annual reports sent to stakeholders that are published to the public. Mm -hmm. You can also find out a lot from papers published in conferences, workshops, and journals. And this helps you know what an organization is doing in a specific or specialized area. Right. 